everyone, my name is Sandra and I am a natural curly girl, as you can see. Growing up, I hated, hated, hated my hair. So if you have texture like me, I'm gonna just show you guys how I do a wash and go. I went from absolutely hating my hair, wearing it straight all the time, chemically processing it, damaging it. Honestly, I never wore it curly unless I got pushed into the pool or I decided to swim. And then when it reverted, I was so sad to see it go back to curly. And that is because I just didn't appreciate my hair. I didn't know how to handle it or take care of it. I've just learned over the past two years since I started my hair journey how to do that. So happy to be sharing that with you guys. For anyone there out there who hates their hair, there's hope for you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my hair. It's been up. This is like day three hair. So it's looking not very good, very dry. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and come back and then I'll show you guys what I use. I only use really two products and then I of course, of course, use the Denman brush. Without the Denman brush, where would my curls be? Nowhere. Washed my hair and now I'm going to show you guys how I style it. So I went ahead and detangled it with the Denman brush. It is amazing. I'm going to show you guys how I now style my hair with it. First I like to go ahead and go in with um, oil. Good. So I go ahead with that first and then the Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine. Super, super easy. I put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then I go ahead and brush. First, I like to do the side first. Honestly, I don't know why. I just like to do it. But I like to do this all over my hair. So I go put a little bit, put it all over. The reason why I don't really like to put a gel is I notice that it just doesn't go well with my hair. And I know the crunch will make it last longer, but I just don't really enjoy it, I guess don't like how it feels on my hair. Then I'm gonna go ahead with the uh, cream. If you're a curly girl, you know you gotta put a lot of cream. There's no way around that. I'm gonna go ahead, put that all over. I have the tiniest mirror right now, so if I'm doing something wrong, I'm sorry. Look at my mirror, it's so small. Okay, so after I put the cream, I like to brush it all through once more. So it's already detangled, but it just will glide through. And I like that, I just feel like it incorporates the cream more. I don't know if that's even true, but it's just what I feel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Gotta take this off, it's a hindrance. Just hate the feeling of wet hair <laughs> on my neck. My driest parts of my hair are right here. Like they're all in the crown, all in the front. So I like to go a little bit heavier with the cream in those areas. Get it all incorporated. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Denim brush again. Brush that all through. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Denim brush is already it's already helping your girl. It's just so great. It's already clumping the curls a little bit, helping a little bit. Now I'm going to show you guys how I style. I like to kind of part it like this. Use my little dendy. So I brush it through again, and then I just go. So what you do is you take this side, you put it behind, and then you just go down. So you can do as many sections as you like. Um, I honestly don't know how many sections I usually do, but this seems like what I do. So again, yeah, go behind, behind, look at that. And then you could just scrunch it a little bit. So it does cause a little bit of shrinkage. And if you hate shrinkage, then you might hate the Demon brush. But honestly, I prefer juicy curls to longer, dry, sad curls. So I prefer Demon brush making my curls happy, is what I'm trying to say. It really does help. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this piece. So, and go behind, clumpy clump. You just see how, I don't know what it is. That's a brush from below. Again, brush. Clumpy clump. I seriously don't know where I would be without the Demon brush. I'm kind of learning what I do with my hair as I'm filming this because I have to talk through it. I guess on my right side, where maybe a little bit bigger of a, of a, of a section, I do section it more. We are almost done. I typically like to dry my hair with um, what a diffuser. I actually never had a diffuser until my sweet friend bought me one for Christmas. And then I realized why everyone loves diffusers. I've been using before a diffuser is, a, you know the little portable heaters? Tiny ones I would dry my hair with that. But now since I have a diffuser, I'm really learning why people love diffusers so much. So now for this piece, it seems to be my driest piece. I like to put a little bit more. I'm not really big on um, 
you know, baby hairs, slaying them. There it is. You guys can see the hairs are already kind of clumping together. That's it. That's all I did. Two products, these two products, and then of course the Demon brush. And it really does a miracle for me. And I've noticed it's just changed my whole like curly pattern so much. So I'm very grateful for the Demon brush. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair. I'll show you guys my diffuser and then I'll be back and show you when it's all dry. This is my diffuser and I really love it. Say it's universal. It can fit on any blow dryer. It probably could fit on any blow dryer. The silicone. So I just put it on here um, and then I just go ahead and blow dry. The key to blow drying your hair and I had to learn the hard way. Don't come in contact with your hair. As much as you'd want to touch your hair while you're blow drying, the more you do, the more frizz you get. I totally hate frizz. I like frizz because it gives you bigger hair, but I think too much can have my hair looking dry. So I just, you know, stay on the sides, don't really touch my hair. If you hate shrinkage, then you probably shouldn't be doing it like this, diffusing like this, because the more you do, the more shrinkage you'll get. So it's best to just kind of stay away and go around. Go ahead and blow dry it. Um, it usually takes about 20 minutes for me, and then even then I'm only like 85% dry. So I just let nature take its course at that point, and I'm totally fine with that. I go outside or I sit near the AC and my hair will just dry on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse and I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished diffusing my hair. It took about 20 minutes um, and my hair is about 85% dry. Um, it's kind of a little damp in the inside, but you know what? It's just gonna have to dry naturally because I'm tired. I really enjoy this routine. It's so easy and yet provides so much definition. So I really recommend it. And if I've learned to manage my hair, you guys can definitely learn as well. Um, and at this point, I think I always pick my hair. I didn't today, but what I like to do is I just like to go in and pick all around, but I just avoid my crown section because it's the most fragile and it will get bigger on its own as days go by. I don't have a pick, so I just use my fingers. I hope that this video has helped you and that you try out this routine and let me know how it goes.